Hey everyone, welcome back for some more How to Survive Third Person Standalone. Remember to click like and also hit subscribe for more videos in this series. Alright everyone, so since the last episode I've actually been doing quite a bit of farming so we can get fully prepared because I understand the game's going to get a whole lot more challenging now that we're pushing forward. Especially as we continue to unlock more islands. I'm not sure how many there are total on the map. I don't think we can really... Yeah, we can't even tell here. But... We are going to definitely make progress towards that. So here's what I've collected since the last episode. So I've gotten quite a bit more white plants. I've been using the feathers to actually create even more of the stronger arrows. And I have a whole stack of regular arrows as well. Uh, we have some extra bottles. I've been using those to fill up with water. I also made the Molotovs. We still have those. Uh, we still have the tire. I've been finding a whole bunch of healing plants. And I've actually been combining even more of them with the cloth, so I have 26 of these. They restore half of my health, so that's going to be very important in the upcoming uh, videos, I'm sure. We also have a whole bunch of flint so we can start fires and cook meat. Also, if we need some torches to go around at nighttime, we'll be all set. Uh, we have even more blue plants. Now, I believe these can actually be combined to create some kind of potion. But I think, I could be wrong, Kenji doesn't have the ability right away, we have to actually continue unlocking the, uh, we uh, use the skill points to unlock them for him, I guess. And we got some more bones, I'm not sure what these do exactly, I know we can combine them with the machete and do something, but I haven't done that yet because if I do with the full inventory, it's going to fall on the ground and I can't carry it anyway. Okay, so the flexible branch. This is what we used to create the bow before, the wooden lawn bow. But apparently we could also make a fishing rod so we can use that to get even more food. There's plenty of water around. We have the mushroom still. I have the homemade gun. I have stacked up a whole bunch of ammo for it. <laughs> Almost two full stacks of 500 bullets. It's going to be quite effective. Well, I mean, the gun itself is pretty weak, but I'm sure we're going to find other guns that can use the same ammo. And I have a full stack of helmets. I, personally, I think this is pretty pointless. I'm sure we're going to find even more of these. And I'm sure we'll have to combine them with other things. Like, I know we can actually combine this with, I think, flint. And I'm assuming that's going to make, like, a like a torch headlight or something. I'm not sure. We'll check that out for sure. We have a whole bunch of these cassava roots. Not a lot, but we definitely have a good amount. We also have these exotic fruits. 35 of them now. Now, the really cool thing is if you combine the exotic fruit with a bottle full of water, you create lemonade. And then it's much more effective at cre uh, quenching the thirst. It also heals more hunger, so we are definitely going to do that. We have to find a way to, man, I mean, if I find a well, I can fill all these back up with water, and then we'll have an empty space, and we can start maneuvering stuff around. But we also have some other stuff on this island that I just did not quite do yet. So over here, I remember pointing this cage out. I'm not sure what's going on with it. Maybe if we tear this down, we can find something new over here. What is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, is that the hidden item? I thought there were hidden items in this game and I had no idea if I was collecting them. But I guess I did collect some before. Oh, those zombies are respawning. Okay, so let me explain really quick how I've been farming. So basically, there are three main areas. Well, I guess two main areas full of zombies. So there's the area over here on the right and then there's also the area far over there on the left. So you can go in here, clear all the zombies out and there will be different things that are pretty much guaranteed to keep respawning. I'm not sure the exact amount of time it takes, but there are two healing plants that will spawn over here. There's also a cassava root. There's flint that will spawn down there. Also, I managed to find a bottle that apparently washed up on the shore, so that can even happen over there too. Bones also spawn down there, and... Oh yes, there's also a hidden monkey that I had mentioned before in the last episode. He, he'll show up over here too. I mean, I... I saw him, but I wasn't recording, so I didn't want to do it off video. But we'll definitely get him as soon as he pops back up. And then up here, we have the white plant. This keeps respawning here, as well as these exotic fruits right here. And that monkey's very needy. We don't have time for you right now, because we don't even have what you're looking for yet. I can't even talk to Kosovac right now, because he's all done speaking to me, I guess. He has anything new to say. Now, down here... Flint will spawn generally over here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Alright, so we got the flint. And then also the blue plant. And then there's the zombies up there. There are two different cassava roots. 
that will spawn. Usually only one of them comes up at a time though. And so on and so forth. The final thing I wanted to go over was there was a... Actually, I guess there's two of them. I completely forgot about breaking these open to find out what blueprints were inside them. Oh, this one doesn't even have one? What the hell is the point of this one then? <laughs> Alright, whatever. But there is another one up there. I think there is a blueprint inside this one. Somebody also pointed out that I should be doing a charge attack to do instant kills. The only problem with that is... It appears that you have to actually... Time it right so as soon as Kenji lets go of the swing... Himself... Or maybe not. Yeah, I thought it was before you had to... Hold on, let me check that. Yeah, he eventually lets go himself and then it will be an instant kill if I can... Manage to line that up with the zombie hitting me. Oh, okay, there we go. That was an instant kill. Oh, yes, alright, so that does work pretty well, alright. Thanks for the suggestion... In the comments. It's always nice to have people who played the game before to give some useful tips. And then all these zombies will typically drop these uh, this ammo pretty often. So it's working out better. Alright, so anyways, let's get this blueprint. Here we go, there is one in here. Helmet with bones. Ah, oh, I already created that! I already know. I guess that's fine. Okay, so that's how you switch between the immediate inventory down there too, you just use the number 1 and 2. Oh yeah, also before somebody mentioned that there was this thing where you can go and charge by the, the sleeping quarters over there. And that will actually recharge the battery on the flashlight, so that's why it kept respawning without me knowing it and then it wouldn't respawn or regenerate sometimes, so on and so forth. Alright, so we're back with Ramon. Oh, these creatures are coming. I don't have anything for nighttime. It's cool. We'll kill them. I hope. I really don't want them to get close. Okay. We kept them at bay for now. Now, it appears that they're pretty easy to determine when they're coming because they make really loud crawling sounds. Okay, so let's break this open. I didn't realize this was here. What is this? Oh, an empty bottle. Yes. Those are actually very valuable because we need to stockpile all these freaking bottles of water to go locate oh here we go exotic fruits all right let's keep pushing forward I mean, nighttime is really dangerous to travel around but we can do it Okay, and yes, this is a good time also to level up a few times. I did manage to level up a lot since the last video. You'll notice that it actually indicates in case you miss it for some reason. Oh, we got an achievement. Mass murder. Oh, that's for killing a thousand zombies. Awesome. Okay, so if you look at the top, the health bar, right to the right of it, there's an arrow that keeps flashing. That is indicating that we have a point to use. At least one point. We actually have three of them. I've been leveled up quite a bit. Alright, so this will make drink gauge fall slowly two times. That's going to be crucial, I would say. Now, we've completed this row. Now, we can either choose to do speed up reloading of all weapons. That might be alright. Or the position of all living animals. And then this leads into... Ah, uh, the plants within 40 meters. Ability to make shield boosters. Aim means... Oh, man, that's... However... We could also make fire arrows. Personally, I think it's going to be more important that we can locate all this stuff. Now, from what I understand, once we reach the maximum level, we're not going to be able to actually have enough points to get everything here. So we're going to, unfortunately, lose out on the Molotovs. And, yeah, all the Molotov stuff. It's alright. It's cool. Okay, and that allows us to reset the tree, and we can reset it four times. No, thank you. That's in case we want to go back, I guess. We might get to that point eventually. Not right now. Anyways, we need to eat some roots. Delicious, delicious roots. What's this? Where do you watch that one? What are we doing? Classic arrows? Oh, it's full. Oh, I hear a zombie. 
Where you at, Zambi? Let's actually check our map really quick. Where are we supposed to go? Oh, that's right, we have to go back to Andrew. He's basically pretty close. And then we'll also be passing by the well. The well as well. <laughs> Terrible jokes for the win. Now this gun is really weak, unfortunately. You have to shoot them once, and then after that you can get a headshot instant kill. Alright, special white plant. We definitely want the ability to make those shield boosters. Apparently for 15 seconds that will allow us to have extra protection. Ah! Man, these bloater things are everywhere. So dangerous to travel at night. Ah! 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 No! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I don't want those things to get close to me. Oh! Oh! Close call. Alright. Actually, let's turn our flashlight on. We may as well. It's kind of super not to. I never even think about it, really. That'll help keep those damn creatures back. Because they're afraid of the light. For whatever reason. Oh, healing plant. Well, that's convenient. My wooden stick... Ah, I can't carry it. It's alright. Oh, there's one of my corpses over there. Oval chair. Oh my god. Oh, there's a deer over there. Let's just get back to Andrew, shall we? It's right down there. Oh, there's a root up there. Careful. Careful. Bloater. Oh, there's two of them back there. These things are spawning everywhere. I wonder how much oft more often we're going to come across new enemy types. Okay, how do we get up there? Do we have to go through this side? Oh, I hear the crawler things over there. Let's just avoid that for now. And we have plenty of roots, and if I need to, I can always go back and farm Kovacs Island later. I don't think we're really going to get to the point where it's an issue now, because I have a lot of stuff. Oh, look, Andrew's back. He wasn't here last time I came down here. Alright, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> oh, it's you. <sighs> Pretty much considered you dead. Did you find, uh, Ramon? <laughs> so fucking cold around here. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I could eat you if I could grab you. <laughs> Relax, just fucking with you. <laughs> Apart from coming to save me, what's new? You brought me food? What? The engine starter of the boat? Hey, that's my insurance. No deal. Wait, wait. I changed my mind. You can have it. Boat's a wreck anyway. <sighs> Bring me some food. No roots and shit. I need meat. Fresh meat. You understand? Find some fresh meat for Andrew. Great, you needy bastard. Alright, so now we actually have to go hunting. Deer spill blood when they are hurt. I mean, that's useful information. No, I guess, but... Follow the blood marks? Oh, okay, so in case we hit them and they get injured, we can follow them to find out where they went. I gotcha. Okay, so we're going to have to clear out some inventory space so we can actually carry it. And more likely, I'm going to have to cook it too. Oh, man. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop these helmets. I don't need all these. If I do, I'll come back and find some more later. 
Alright, so now that we did that, we're going to combine the exotic fruit with the water bottle. Now we have delicious lemonade. That's going to completely cure our thirst meter. Whenever we run into a situation. Okay, we have to go back and find the, uh, the well too. Okay, so now we filled up three more bottles. We're going to make those all into lemonade. Okay, so next we have to go and hunt a deer. For that, I think we're going to have to take the bow. I'm assuming that's a stronger weapon. And I saw that deer right there. Okay, let's make sure we put the proper arrows in there. I've been using the classic arrows, and those aren't going to quite do the job. Come on! Oh! Damn it! Get back here! It's alright. Doesn't have far to run. Got it! Alright, so we have officially taken down our first animal in the game. Inventory is full. Oh, never mind. Drop this. We don't need the arrow. We need the meat. Oh my god! 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 Oh, 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 oh man. That was a little too close for my liking. Okay, so the meat. Where is the meat? Where'd it go? Oh. That arrow's in like the worst spot right now. Come on! Go! On. Got it! Alright. So we have the fresh meat, now we're just going to bring it back to Andrew. I don't care if it's cooked. I mean, he might complain about it. If he does, then we'll go cook it, but... I'm just going to give it to him as is. Here's your crappy food. You! Where the fuck is my food? Well... Thanks. <laughs> a deal is a deal. <laughs> Take your damn starter, and leave me alone. <laughs> hey, Shh. be careful. I heard a big scream coming from the forest, like a giant beast. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Why is that funny? That sounds terrifying. Okay, so we received an engine starter, so we can go back and repair Ramon's boat. Thanks so much for watching, as always, everyone. Be sure to click like and also hit subscribe so you don't have to miss any more videos in this series in the future. And I will see you next time.